Hey guys, welcome back to Project Trek. Uh, today, I've got a special product review uh, for you. It's going to be a fun one, real fun one. Christian's excited. I am so excited about this. You're going to see me doing all these crazy things with this. No, you're not. She <laughs> will not deal with any of this because she's never dealt with any of this. I am... I'm the poo guy in this He's relationship. He's the poop king! <laughs> so, I'll be covering this one. Alright, so, if you've ever been in your RV uh, for longer than, say, 24 hours, or long enough to go poop, or uh, you bought your RV used, you're probably wondering why the, uh, the tank level indicator on your black tank is showing full. Like, it just always will. Like, you buy it brand new before anything's been put in it, and it will show empty. And then as soon as you put something in it, it will show full for the rest of the life of that RV. It's just, that's the way it goes. Um, if, you're wondering, if you're wondering why, well, uh, when you uh, fill up that black tank, uh, if you don't know, the black tank is the poop and pee tank. That's where your toilet dumps directly into. Um, you've got these tank level indicators here. Well, it's showing full, right? It ain't full though, like I just emptied them out. Um, what happens is when you go to the bathroom and then you put toilet paper down there or you eat uh, hard to digest veggies or whatever, whatever you put down your toilet, it sticks to those tank sensors and creates a nice paper mache uh, covering on that sensor and it just always reads full. So today we're going to try and uh, bust that loose and get it to read properly uh, for at least 20 minutes. It'll probably go back and you'll just have to clean it again. I will also add that when you're sitting around a campfire with our other RVers and you're talking about uh, these black tank gauges, people will tell you, well you just have to learn the sound that your tank makes when it's full. You'll get to, you'll get to know how full it is by the sound of you know the water flushing and then and then hitting net net and that is true um, that was the case in our motorhome where we had a single bathroom and the toilet uh, was plumbed directly into a black tank directly below it and you could hear the water splashing in there and it's like oh yeah it sounds really full um, but a lot of, on a lot of these fifth wheels uh, with multiple bathrooms um, there's all kinds of bends in the plumbing and it's not directly below the toilet uh, so you just you can't hear that um, and there's really no way to tell other than I know that we can go about two and a half weeks uh, before we fill up our black tank you just you do have to get to know your tank but uh, in our in our situation we can't I can't hear how full it is um, so I just I dump like once a week okay so enough teasing you uh, with this promise of fixing your tank gauge. Uh, let's, let's see if it actually works. We have the Camco RV Flexible Swivel Stick. Uh, this is basically, in the fire department we called it a cellar nozzle. Uh, the idea is that you, let's see if I can get that in focus. We, you thread on your garden hose here, uh, open up this valve, and then it runs through this flexible hose that you would put down uh, in your toilet. Um, and this, this piece on the end spins around, spraying water everywhere. Uh, kind of like a dishwasher effect. And hopefully the stream is strong enough to really just pressure wash off that poo paper mache nastiness that's on the tank sensors. So we're gonna try this out. Now I have my doubts already because I'm looking at the length of this uh, flexible piece here. Um, and it does not look like it's long enough to make it through all the bends. I mean, I've I, I've been in the underbelly of this thing, and there, there's quite a run that that toilet has as far as plumbing goes. So we'll see. I may have to modify this thing to make it actually work. I don't know. And now that I'm thinking about it, before I actually stick this thing down uh, <laughs> through all that plumbing, I actually want to run some water through it and show you what it actually does so you can kind of get a visual. And we can see what kind of water pressure we're we're dealing with here. I was going to measure it for you, but it actually says uh, 
flexible 55 and a half inch reach for offset basement holding tanks. So maybe it will reach. I don't know. We'll see. So this is like a really simple concept. Um, and actually it's also pretty affordable. This runs about $20. Um, it's all plastic, but it looks like a pretty decent product. All right, so I'm threading this onto the garden hose. I have got no inline filter in place. I've got no pressure regulator in between. It's just plumbed right to the source. Uh, so let's, let's see what kind of water pressure we get with this. All right. Oh, yeah, so if you don't know, you should be using a pressure regulator uh, when you put water through your RV. If you didn't know that. All right, let's go. All right, I can already tell there's just, there's no way that is gonna supply enough pressure to kind of knock off some of that debris. But I mean, we'll try it out. We'll try it out, right? Yeah, so this would actually be a pretty fun, like, toy uh, if it weren't covered in poop. So this is literally the last time I can ever try it out like this because it's just going to be gross from now on. Now, it's worth mentioning that before you try any of this, you just need to clean out your tanks, uh, like, in general. So just flush tons and tons of water through them. Uh, once you think that you've cleaned it out enough, flush it out, like, another three or four times. Um, you're not going to be drinking this water. It doesn't need to be that clean, um, but you just want it to have like a nice yellow tinge to it um, because when it first comes out, it's got a nice brown tinge to it. And what really helps is um, these clear fittings. You can kind of see uh, what's coming out. It's really gross, um, uh, but you can actually see that like once you you flush it enough you can see that like the toilet paper and the poo is coming out um and once that stops coming out it should just be liquid and then once it once it goes from like brown liquid to like yellow liquid then you're like in the clear okay come to think of it i'm just gonna do a uh a tutorial on how to clean out your tanks that'd be way more simple so i'll do that and i'll if i remember to i'll link it right here or here wherever it shows up okay as far as like there's some instructions on here, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you just put it down your toilet. Uh, the other option is going, and this is not in the instructions, but the other option is going up through the terminal end of your sewer pipe um, and trying to go up into the tank, but I don't know. It splits off. That terminal end splits off between the, the gray tank and the black tank, so you may end up going into the gray tank. I don't know. I don't know how all that works, but we're just gonna put it down through the toilet. So that involves opening up the window closest to the bathroom, running a garden hose through there with the swivel stick on the end. So let's go do that. So there's really no way to like sugarcoat this. Um, it's awkward for me, it's gonna be awkward for you. You're gonna see some of my poop. Um, that's just the way it's gonna go. If you look closely enough, you will probably see some of my poo poo in there. Um, so in order to just like make this less weird, um, I'm gonna be drinking out of a coconut while I do this. My friend Charlie brought this by while I was filming and it's best enjoyed fresh. And he decided to chop it up right there, which was awesome. Bottoms up. All right, let's get to it. So we will I shut off the water. I guess that's just residual pressure. Uh, but we're going to be putting that swivel stick down through that hole. Yeah, that hole right there. And uh, we'll see if it works. I know Project Trek video would be complete without some sweet, sweet B-roll, so here we go. Here we go.
Okay, let's do this. Alright, let her rip. Okay, done with one toilet. Um, I know the results. I, I have checked with the tank gauge to look, uh, but I just want to double confirm. Luckily we have two toilets, so I went ahead and did the front bathroom as well. Let's go take a look at that. My wife loves it when I bring garden hoses through the house. <laughs> All the way. All right. So I've been running it in this front bathroom as well. Just letting it do its thing. So I was very skeptical of this thing. Um, I mean, I just wasn't sure if it was gonna work. I mean, it's all plat. I mean, it, it's actually solidly built but the the rigid component of it i didn't think it would be able to make the bends and get down deep enough into the to actually get that nozzle into the tank and then you know what does the tank structure look like and is is it going to be obstructed from the stream of water actually hitting the sensor i just didn't know but let's go take a look at the gauges because this is um this is where it gets interesting okay so here's here's where it gets interesting check this out it's actually reading empty for the first time Wait, no, for ever. real? You got it empty? Yeah. It really does show. Yeah. It's going to last that long for like... Let me see. At least an hour. Well, there it is, folks. Dreams really do come true. Um, the product works just like it says it would. So for 20 bucks, that's not bad. Uh, and it does just kind of help rinse off the walls of that tank. But you really do need to clean your tanks like with soapy water or maybe distilled white vinegar, let it soak overnight. Uh, I've heard of people putting in like bags of ice and like taking sharp turns in their RV, which to me sounds like it's going to do way more damage than any good. Um, I mean, I guess maybe if you've got like a really like really stuck buildup, you could try that. But I'm not all about that fast stopping, fast accelerating, sharp turns in an RV just to clean out tanks. That seems like overkill. So anyways, uh, if you like that product or you like this uh, video, check out this link here. You can you can buy that on the uh, Amazon link. If you buy it from there, it helps us out a little bit, sends us a couple bucks, helps us put out more uh, content like this. If you like this video or you found it helpful, uh, try hitting subscribe or hitting the like button. That really helps us out. Keeps him keeps him in motivated keeps me motivated to put out more stuff like this. Cheers.